What's going on everybody? I'm out on the uh, TMEN 300ES FI2T. This is a sweepstakes bike for June. I've just left the truck. Uh, bikes warming up. I'm not warm. It's early May. But it's cold. And uh, gonna check out these trails. So this is a trail that I've taken a lot of different bikes on. I wanted to get this bike out here into this and really get a sense for like how nimble it is. Um, the other, the other, the first ride that I went on, this is my second ride day on the bike. The first ride I went on, um, a little bit slower, more technical stuff. Right now, the next couple of minutes, oh. It's not gonna be crazy technical. It's just gonna be like, flow through this first section of trail and see what the bike feels like. I'll tell you what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of pain in my left hand, my left elbow. That is, I've got a, some tendonitis that has flared up over the last few weeks. I've got a tendonitis therapy bar. I've been, it's like a rubber therapy bar thing that I use. Keep the front end light right there. But yeah, bike feels very nimble. Very short front to rear. I know I said that. I think in my first couple of videos about this bike, I said it my podcast. By the way, I have a podcast. You can get it pretty much on the, all the major podcast directories. Uh, Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, all those major pod, uh, podcast directories. I did kind of a first impressions podcast on the bike. Lots of direction changing here. My first, I mean, it has definitely some characteristics that are similar to the Sherco, but it's definitely its own machine. Because in a lot of that, I was feeling almost beta-esque, where the beta's a little bit smaller, you know? I just stripped a layer off because I thought I was going to be colder than I was or am. Thought I would be colder than I am is what I'm trying to say. Slick and drop down in here. Well, at least the bike will get some real mud on it. A little wet. Of course, we are riding in the bottom of a ravine. I think there's 
there's another trail that doesn't ride the bottom of the ravine. There's usually not any water out here. I don't think I've ever actually seen water in this. No itself, come back on a different side. I think there is a different little single track that bypasses this. When I'm on my way back to the truck. So I bred my front brake, because on the first ride the front brake was mushy. It's got a Brembo brake, uh, but it was pretty darn mushy. So had to spend half hour kind of bleeding that. Bleeding brakes is not one of my favorite things. It's just tedious. I don't have a real great syringe for it to push the brake fluid. I push the brake fluid from the bottom uh, down by the brake up through the top up into the master cylinder. That's how I do it. And uh, it's just a tedious process. It makes a freaking mess everywhere. I don't love it. But you, sometimes you have to do it. And that's where I found myself with this bike on the first ride. I'm like freaking, freaking thing. It's too mushy, it needs to be bled. Look at that little creek right there, which I never see. Oh. Getting into snow, son of a... That's too low. Maybe I should cut that on the way back. Have my saw. Grab a second. Spitting out tree branch, tree stuff. And you can tell we had a heavier snowfall because these trees aren't usually, these branches don't usually get bent down in the trail. But I guess with the amount of snowfall we had, with extra weight. Tree branches. Grab what is that? I don't know, third. Take back second gear. Grab third again. Yeah, it's uh. Very muddy, very fast. Because now we're getting up into the snow. That is crazy, crazy town. For how late we are. Okay, well. Yeah.